Hello, this is Chiron Intuition, and I'm here to do a reading for the collective. It's not going to resonate with everyone, but if it does, take what goes, and please, leave what does not. We have the Five of Cups energy here. Let me get something with the Five of Cups. We have the Empress. Now this could be the Empress that's really sad right now or the Empress that feels like they're losing. It could be a feminine energy here. Libra, Taurus energy. And we have the Emperor here. Okay, let's see what's on the other side of this emperor. It's two people together, but that five of cups is not looking good first. Oh shit, we got the ace of cups here. What the hell? Does something turn around in this marriage and this relationship? Or the empress is sad because the emperor has found somebody else or they got somebody else or... Okay. I don't know. This is this is odd. I hope it's a renewal of love. I hope it is. Let me see what. Oh yeah. Okay, we got the world card here. But the world card is about closing out cycles. What is this here with this? Look, we got the 8 of cups here, y'all. We got the 8 of cups here. And y'all know the 8 of cups is about walking away. It looks like this emperor is being offered something new. The emperor is being offered this. It's not that the emperor found anything. The emperor is being offered this. Damn, we got the we got two eight of cups coming out here together. Just like the empress and the empress are next to empress and emperor are right next to each other, so is the eight of cups. After the world card. Damn, these two are not going to be together. These two are not going to be together. There's going to come, there's going to be something that comes. <sighs> we have the six of wands here. It's with the five of cups though. But I mean, it's still a victory though. It's still some type of victory. Maybe y'all are just not meant to be together, but y'all are still meant to be happy. Y'all just not meant to be happy with each other. It's kind of sad. Because I really see, even in the first line, it's like the first card is the Five of Cups and then the Empress and the Emperor come out. It's like, damn, it's like a broken relationship. And then you see the Ace of Cups, but it's like they're being offered. I think it's both of them. Since we got two Eight of Cups, yeah, confirmation. Thank you. It's both of them that's being offered this Ace of Cups. It's both of them that are being offered love. It's just that they're not meant to be together. They're not meant to be together. This Five of Cups is still, it's, it may be something that hurts, but it's still winning. It's winning. It's the way that the universe wants you to go or wants y'all to go. Like something here may be complete with y'all and there's nothing left. Look, we got the full card here. So it's, it's like bittersweet. It's sad, but it's where you know you must go. We got the full card here. It's new beginnings here, new possibilities, new everything knew everything not just the ace of cups that's new love new connections okay new healing but the fool is new everything new beginning in life so it's like you're not losing don't be sad what is this here with this well i can't say don't be sad because you got to feel your emotions but you know don't think this is the end of the world we have the king of cups energy here like, I feel like there's love there, but I just feel like y'all may not meant, may not be meant to... I can't even say the words. Y'all may not be meant to be together. Maybe y'all have learned what you needed to learn. And it's time to close the cycle, and it's okay. And I could be talking to a water sign here. 
an Aquarius, a Capricorn, Taurus, Libra, Aries. We have the Magician here. Ace of Cups. Manifesting love, manifesting connections, manifesting healing. This is what you're manifesting. This is what you've always been manifesting without even knowing it. We have the Knight of Pentacles here and manifesting what you actually want to build or what you actually want to focus on, what you want to work hard towards, what you want to give your time, your energy. We have the Knight of Wands here, something about a fire sign. So we got an earth sign and a fire sign. Something that you're passionate about or something about like-minded people. We have the Six of Swords energy here. No, this is just a transition in life. It's just a change in life. Someone may be going from like maybe moving slow to maybe moving a lot quicker. They want to move quicker. They want to step it up. They want to like, I don't know, but I see I see things happening for an emperor and an empress, two people that the relationship is pre is pretty much broken but it's not because it's not like y'all should hate each other i don't see none of that i don't see none of that i just really see the healing that needs to be had and maybe y'all can't give that to each other because y'all have given what you could and now there's a new level what is this here or maybe it was something that the empress had to accept We have the Knight of Cups energy here. Okay, let me get something with this. So is someone like moving successfully, like with their heart, like finding what it is that you want or opening yourself to what that is? Someone should not remain in the Five of Cups. Five of Cups is not a place to sit. The fives are not like they are the things that create conflict within the suit within the element and conflict is only to create change It's something just that you know you need to feel something in order to create that change and I feel like it's happening or it has happened but the feelings are not the same somebody just needs healing at this point page of Pentacles with the full card investing in new things going new directions planting new seeds focusing on new goals here and it's okay we got the emperor also again in the same damn line the emperor the king of cups and the emperor is out here again so there may be a new emperor i mean i know everybody ain't gonna want to hear that but there may be like someone new it may be it's like this is not someone that's giving up on love we do have this nine of sword underneath the magician here. Hmm. I'm also getting somebody that may feel like there's nothing that they can do to get this back. There's nothing that they can do to change something. What is this here with this knight of pentacles? We have the four of pentacles energy here. Let me get something here, something about building something solid or like, I feel like this emperor has tried to do something, but it's not, it might not work. I'm almost getting the energy of somebody that's going to just do it on their own or they're going to do something. Okay. Yeah. We got the six of pentacles here. There is some type of equal give and take. I feel like it's not coming from the emperor though. This could be them feeling like you're going to get what you want or you're going to get who you deserve. I mean, I'm not sitting here saying maybe they get another relationship like I don't know, but I definitely see the Empress is the one over here going through the changes going through. I mean, I'm sure they both feeling it, but. And the Emperor is out here twice. We have the Hermit here, Virgo energy. So is somebody moving on alone? Like I'm seeing it. I don't know if they're 
going to be with somebody else or they I don't know how that's going to turn out, but they're just going to get what they deserve. It's something about what they give. They need to receive it back. And until they do, it's something here. They're not going they're going to leave this person and they're going to go towards their healing or these people are going to separate. They're going to go towards their healing. The five of cups is next to the empress, though. I'm just saying. I don't feel like this emperor can help something or heal something or change something. What is this here with this Knight of Cups? We have the Six of Wands energy here. With the Knight of Cups. Yeah. Someone wanting to go further in their life. Or wanting to take action with their heart. We have the Three of Cups here. Let me get something here. And then we have the Queen of Swords. So the Emperor has the Queen of Swords. The Emperor could be like shutting down any like party, any like celebration, any friendship, any any happiness. It's something like maybe the Empress is just not happy, like period. Maybe it's not something all, you know, drawn out and traumatizing and complex and shit. Maybe it's just very simple, like the emotions are telling you, Okay. Because I feel a little bit of a cold energy with the Queen of Swords underneath this, this Emperor. Right after the Three of Wands and the Three of Cups. like, Or this is somebody really stepping into what they got to do. We have the Nine of Pentacles here. But it's there with the Nine of Sword. It could have something to do with losing some money. Losing some resources or something like that. Yeah, we got the Ten of Wands here. Someone may do something on their own or they may have to do something on their own. And it's better than being sad and shit in the Five of Pentacles. Like it may even be the money. It may be family or something that's keeping someone from moving, keeping someone from leaving. We have the Five of Swords. This is, a lot of this line right here is a bit jacked up. I'm just being honest. Five of Swords right after this Ten of Wands here. But we got the star. It's going to be a lot on somebody, but like, what are you supposed to do? You supposed to just stay in the Five of Cups? I can't tell you that. I can't say that. You just supposed to be in the Five of Cups for real? Hell no. Nah. Five of Cups is like... Like emotional fucking slavery or something. I can't imagine being stuck in the Five of Cups. Five of Cups as a fleeting emotion, I could understand that because we go through disappointment. But Five of Cups living in it is like slavery. Like night and day. Sleep and awake. Be like, damn, like I want to go back to sleep because being sleep is a lot better than the fucking reality type shit. I can't tell nobody to stay in that. Somebody definitely needs this healing. Maybe these two people need this healing. Maybe they need two different types of healing here. I see somebody going off on their own or leaving. It's something about even a cold energy or something like that. Like leaving that shit behind. Going and getting what you deserve. Yeah, I feel like it's going to be a lot of work. It's going to be hard. It's going to be more challenging here, but you're going to be happy at the end of it. With the sun card. Let me get something here with this three of wands. We have the ace of swords energy here. Well, somebody has clarity about the situation. They know what they want to do or they know at least how they feel. Maybe somebody's, I hope somebody's acknowledging this and realizing it's time to go. It's time to be with, oh shit, we got the nine of sword here. So the truth is kind of, yeah, the nine of sword out here twice. Someone is going to have to end something. That's ten swords right there. Ace of sword and the nine of sword. That's ten swords right there. Someone's going to have to end it and go towards a new love. And that shit is crazy. Because it's an emperor and an empress. You would never think. Like you think they're meant to be together, right? But no, maybe there's just another emperor for you. Maybe you are meant to be with an emperor, just another one, a different one. 
That shit is definitely weighing on somebody's mind, though. Definitely. We got the ten of... I mean, I'm sorry. We got the nine of cups here. Which, you see this shit? Ace of sword, nine of sword. Ace of cups, nine of cups. It's still ten here. Ten swords and it's still ten cups here. But this ace of cups is about accepting some type of love. Accepting some type of healing. Accepting some type of wish come true. Because you're not happy. It's the energy of just not being happy. Why can't these two people be happy? Because they want to stick together. Old empress and, and emperor. But it's like if y'all not happy, what's the point? Be real, you know? Let me get something here with this nine of... I mean, I'm sorry, this ten of wands energy. We got the four of wands. This is just too much. I mean, with the with the ten of wands above the four of wands, that's just too much. That's just too much energy, too much force, maybe in a home, in some type of structure here, like something ready to blow up. Or this might be somebody taking on a lot of responsibility in order to have their happiness, in order to have what they want. They realize they have to, they have to like either do it on their own or a lot is going to be on their own. We got the Ace of Pentacles here also, so that's good. New seeds to be planted. New things to grow. What is this here? Or it could be a purchase of some sort. And we got another world card. The doubles that came out here are very, very interesting. I might not name all of them, but I think it's interesting how two world cards came out here. Because I'm telling you, it's two people going through this. They're going through it together. I don't think this is a situation where it's like one leaving the other. I feel like these two have already left each other. But they're but physically they're still together. Yeah. Confirmation on that first part. Physically I feel like they're still together, but I feel like on an emotional level, I feel like they left each other a long time ago. And the fact that there's two ace of cups here, there's two world cards here. Okay? Two is okay. What is at the bottom? And we have the Six of Cups here. Don't you deserve to be happy? I mean, I think everybody deserves to be happy. I don't see no devil energy or no crazy shit out here right now. I don't see it right now. You know, this this might just be a situation where y'all need to be... Y'all need to realize what you really want. You know, it could even be an energy of, like, trying to keep up with the Joneses and shit like that. You know how the Empress and the Emperor, you know, they like to look a certain kind of way. And then when the... When they go back inside and can't nobody see them, they might hate each other type shit. And it's like, that's not worth it. It's not worth it. It's really not worth it. What is this here with this? What is the energy here? What is the energy here? It says empty nest. It says moving on, no one home. Okay, it says crystal ball. Let me get something with this... Um twin soul let's see this might have a positive message here hopefully because there's nothing really to be said it says yin yang it's something about finding the other half something you see it says chemistry something you it has to be some chemistry there right and it's okay if the chemistry is not there like okay let's be real let's be real let's be real i don't know like what the world had, I mean, uh, you know, society and all, I don't know. But like, if there's no heat or chemistry, no intimacy, if there's no connection in the sex or like, I think that's extremely important. That's a very honest thing, right? That should be probably the most honest piece of you is like when you're giving yourself to someone when you're opening yourself to someone okay like on a spiritual level like sex and we're talking about chemistry here i don't feel like the empress with this five of cups next to that i don't feel like they feel like doing it i don't feel that they want to do anything and that's okay you got to be honest because otherwise it's like your energy is just being taken or something like that and it's like hmm you want to give your energy to, you see the yin and the yang, you know, you want some kind of reciprocity there. You want some chemistry there. You want the mixture. You know what I'm saying? 
You want the shit to mix properly. I don't know. I'm just saying. Like, I'm just being honest. I'm sorry. I know that shit is real. It's real tough, especially on a sexual level. And I don't know. They probably been together a long time and shit. I don't know. But it's like, you got to be honest. You got to be honest. Like, and it doesn't even just have to be the sex. It does not have to be. But it has to be the chemistry, though. It has to be the chemistry. The chemistry got to be right. The energy got to be right. If the energy ain't right, it ain't right. It just ain't right. How many times, like, I don't know. I guess it's a, a question I'm putting out there. How many people have sex with people that they don't want to have sex with? Like, how many people do that? Or how many people get with people that they don't like or they're not attracted to? Like, how many people actually do that? And I believe there's people that think that's normal. Like, to be with somebody that they're just not fucking attractive to. For whatever reason, I don't know. But I think there's a lot of people that think that's normal to be with someone that is just not attractive to you. And I really honestly question that because I would never eat some food that I don't like. I would never eat it. I could try some shit, but if I don't like it, that's the last fucking time. (laughs) Somebody needs to hear that shit, man. Somebody just needs to hear the shit. Like, I really honestly believe there's a lot of people that just deal with no chemistry. I really do because motherfuckers be telling everybody else who they should be and who they should have sex with and who they can have sex with. I really think they don't have, like, do y'all be really with the person that you want to be with? Do you really be having sex with the person? Because really people be telling you who you should have sex with. And it's like, what if you're not attracted to that person? So how can someone tell you to have sex with somebody and you ain't attracted? So I'm almost convinced that there's a lot of people that like have sex with people that they don't have chemistry with. Like, I'm sorry, I ain't trying to get on. Look, it says honesty and communication. I'm not trying to get on nobody, but I'm just feeling like that because it's like, you can't fake that. You can't fake that. And I'm not talking like, there's, how can I say? I'm not talking about, there's moments when y'all can be mad, right? There's moments you have argument. There's moments y'all gonna disagree. I'm not talking about that, but I'm talking about the overall chemistry. How can you be with somebody that you're not attracted to? Or that it's not give it's not feeding you it's not giving anything to you you don't want to do that you want the relationship that's going to help you ascend not the one that got you looking like this never the one that got you looking like this especially not living in it i just got to be honest with somebody i ain't trying to hurt nobody's feelings what's this at the time it says harmony and resolution like some it's that's that balance the yin yang harmony resolution right there and the chemistry honesty and communication i'm just being real with somebody if if you don't feel nothing you need to be honest with yourself like i don't feel nothing here like i don't on the inside if you understand what i'm saying if you don't feel it on the inside and your emotions it's probably not there and you should probably be real with how you truly feel And that even goes for sexuality. There's a lot of people, they will not give into their own sexuality because the world will get on you or they'll talk about you or they'll hate you, they'll ridicule you, they'll do all this shit. But it's like, if you're not happy, who you gonna listen to? You gonna live in this? You gonna live in this because of somebody else or other people? Or you gonna live in this because of whatever reason it is? That's that's somebody's choice. I'm gonna leave this right here. If you like the way that I read, please like, share, and subscribe. Thank you so much for your likes, shares, and subscribes. I truly appreciate it because it is how we get the messages out in order to elevate the collective. I love you guys, and I'll be back with another reading later. Bye.